Hey, good morning everybody. Thank you for watching today's vlog. I wanted to film a weekend in my life. Like kind of spend the weekend with me. We don't have anything really like planned this weekend, but I thought that would be good because um, I just want to show you around. I just want to show you around Miami and get my typical routine. Um, I slept in a lot <laughs> this morning, so I'm getting a late start this morning. Um, but yeah, it's like 4th of July weekend, so I'm sure there's like a lot of fun stuff going on. Um, but yeah, so this morning I just took the dogs out, put my hair up in a ponytail because we're going to go for a walk. And I want to, I really want to go get a matcha, but I haven't, I only have one place here that I love the matcha. It's from Dr. Smood and you have to get the matcha, iced matcha latte with almond milk and hawaj milk. It's like a cinnamony kind of like spicy, mm, it's the best matcha. Um, but I want to know if there's another one. So anyways, we're going to go look for a matcha this morning, go for a short little walk. Um, I also am planning my first retreat. So spoiler alert, I'm planning a retreat here in Miami. It's going to be a wellness retreat, um, very mindset and wellness, like overall wellness focused. Um, it's going to be here in Miami, Florida this October. Um, it is the roots retreat so it's meant for like uh my roots group coaching clients but then i was like you know what i feel like a lot of women who um haven't done roots yet would just really benefit from this retreat so it is open to everybody um there will be applications coming soon so if you want to learn more or like um get all the updates on the roots retreat um make sure you sign up for the email list i'll put the link down below we're still in the early phases of planning um but it will be available to get your spot probably in the next um, next coming week so think yoga yoga on the beach think um some pool time think a lot of like free time to like spend with the other girls at the retreat and also like get to look around miami and just have fun shopping um but also yeah think yoga think mindset and manifestation workshops think vision board party think breath work very like healing transformative breath work um by all the top people in the industry that I love and admire and have learned so much from. Um, there's going to be um, like self-guided like uh, what's it called like myofascial like face facial things. Not my forte but that's why I'm having the best of the best come be here. Empowerment coaching. Um, it's going to be so good so yeah just wanted to talk about that but so today um i'm gonna be working with my husband on that and like still looking for like the perfect venue or venues and i'm kind of playing that out a little bit with my husband and he is an accountant so he's gonna help me with the budget <laughs> and all that stuff so yeah just gonna be a fun relaxing day i gotta put my earrings in but i did get these new little earrings can you see these? from miranda fry they're beautiful look at that aren't they so cute little hoops also from Miranda Fry, I got these little Fs. Aren't these cute these little F studs? Um, this is new. It's the coin signet ring. This ring is from Etsy. And then just my engagement ring. And then this is the Megan bracelet. And then this is the Frankie bracelet named after me. And this one I think is the London bracelet. Um, and then my necklaces. This is the Frankie necklace. And then this is the Vera chain, I'm pretty sure, and the Alpha initial charm. So all my jewelry is Miranda Fry, except for the blue and my wedding ring, obviously. Alrighty, I'm gonna get dressed. I'm wearing the Skims pajamas, by the way. These are the most, the most comfortable pajamas literally in the world, but I'm not gonna wear pajamas today. So I think I'm gonna do I have this little top from Zara, but they have literally a better and more like a similar, exact similar, but better one on Amazon. And I think I'm going to order it. It's the high neck. It's like that like racer kind of cut, um, but it has sports bra built into it. This one from Zara is just more of a t-shirt, so you have to wear a sports bra with it, but the one on Amazon has a sports bra. So I think I'm going to get that. Um, so I'm going to wear this little sports bra with it. This is the Lululemon like Y bra, like flow Y bra, I think. And it just has thin straps. It's really low support, so I like it just for going for walks. And then for shorts, I'm just either gonna wear black leggings. It's a bit hot though. So I'll probably do black biker shorts if I have any clean. So I just cleaned out my closet yesterday. Little update time. 
and gosh it feels so good like we had just way too many of our winter clothes we kept so many of our winter clothes and we just really don't need them you know um gosh i cannot find biker shorts in here maybe that's a sign i should wear something else but we had just kept so many of our winter clothes and I just put them all in trash bags, kind of like flatten them out, try to get all the air out and just put them all under the bed. So our bed is great storage, by the way. Um, oh, here we go. Perfect. These little black biker shorts are actually from Walmart. They're the Sofia, Gar Sofia Vergara Active. And they're really cute. And like her logo is that little evil eye. So it's really cute. So I'm just gonna wear that. Anyways, yeah, my closet feels so much better. It's so cleaned out. It's huge. Like, it feels huge in there now. And then I still have all of my clothes in here. So I have, like, all my active wear in here. I try to, like, roll it, you know, but I don't know. I might rethink this because every drawer is just full because I keep most of my clothes in here. But I don't know. It works. Whatever, right? Okay, outfit is on cute little crop top and bodysuit but I wanted to, um this is random but I wanted to share my favorite socks in the world these are my favorite socks in the world and I only wear these I need to get more I only have like one pack so like six pairs or something but they're all I wear they're DSG from Dick Sporting Goods they have like the little thing I think that's cute so they come up a little higher like over your shoe they are the best socks they're just the best i only wear these like if they're all dirty i don't wear socks <laughs> like i get mad like i have to wear i have to wear these socks for the rest just trust me um okay i'm gonna fill up my water bottle grab my tea from last night i still love this water bottle it's from amazon it's linked in my amazon storefront and in my like to know it so we try to get bottled water every week while we figure out what kind of like filter situation we want to get. So we just get this big thing of like Zephyr Hills or a big like two gallon thing um, from Publix. And then you can fill it up from the little spout. Okay, so here's the outfit for my hot girl walk. I get a ton of questions on this bag, literally every time I post it. So it's from Lululemon. I'm pretty sure it's called the All Nighter Festival bag. Pretty sure, and it's like the bigger size. So it sits like this on me. Um, I initially wanted it to be a fanny pack. When we lived here in March, I had a fanny pack from Aritzia TNA. And I loved it, um, but I, it was way too small. So I wanted a bigger one, and this one is perfect, but it's not, it's not a fanny pack. But now I'm used to it, and it's probably better. So it looks like this. So in it, you have this front pouch. Let me show you. Okay. You have a front pouch right here, which just is enough to fit, like, my sunglasses, keys, whatever. So it's, like, easy accessible right here. And then on top there's a big pouch. So this is where like everything goes, like phone, camera, all that stuff. And then actually this whole front part opens up like this. And it's like flat, so I just have masks in there just in case. But yeah, it's a really great size. It's really comfortable. I like that it just sits right here. So like everything is right here. There are trains and little like metro movers um, that help get you around the like downtown area and it's nice to walk under because it's a whole little path um, and it feels really safe and it's just cute. So I'm taking this little path to go find my matcha this morning. So we like Brickle because it's very walkable. Like within like a five to ten minute walk you can be by the water or you can be by a coffee shop cute little poke places, whatever really you want, it's all pretty walkable. Okay, I went to 
a coffee shop called Crema. It's super cute, really good food. Um, they didn't have matcha. I wanted a matcha, of course, but um, I got a peanut butter power smoothie instead, which was like peanut butter, I think it was like almond milk, protein powder, banana. And then I got for Brett just an iced latte for him. He asked me to pick him up something. So yeah, it's still very hard to find a good iced matcha latte. Okay, back. Latte. Yes. We just spent some time working on the retreat budget that I was telling you guys about earlier today. And I'm so excited about it, but the thing about the retreat is that it's really easy to get carried away and have all these big ideas and big visions for it. So it was helpful to have Brett help me make a budget. But no matter what the budget, it's gonna be amazing. And I cannot wait. We have such amazing guest speakers already lined up. Um, like welcome bags are already starting to be like planned out. It's just gonna be so fun. There's so many fun things coming. But anyways, we are gonna take the dogs out for a little walk. Um, and then I think it's time for lunch. So I'll show you guys like a healthy recipe today. Okay, I just took a shower. It's later in the night, but I literally haven't done much today. I've spent a lot of time just in our apartment. Um, I went for a walk. Two walks. I went for the walk you guys saw when I went to go get matcha. I went for another walk with the dogs and Brett, and then I went for another walk just a couple minutes ago. Um, but I didn't, I didn't bring my camera because it died. Um, but I just took a shower, just a body shower. I didn't wash my hair because I just have it up in ponytail. I'm just gonna wear it in ponytail again tomorrow. So I don't wash my hair that often, especially living here, because I always just wear it up. Um, so I figure it's probably a good time to just let my hair do its thing. Um, but I'm just gonna put on some moisturizer. I have actually, I'm gonna do the nighttime, but I use this every single day. This is the Belief Aqua Bomb. And then I also have the nighttime one. I have super dry skin and I still have super dry skin here in Florida, but I'm just gonna put this on. And then we ordered takeout. <laughs> Did you get it? Uh, yeah. Really we decided to just order takeout tonight. We got it from North Italia. I think this is mine. I got um pasta and meatballs. Oh my god, that looks so good. Good morning. It's actually the next day. And last night after we had that North Italia dinner, um, I went to bed. Like I stayed up for couple more hours and listened to a podcast and just hung out here um, but then I went to bed and I slept in really late today <laughs> I must have just needed a lot of sleep because I was not getting get up but anyways um, today we're probably getting over to the I think we're going to the beach we're gonna try to go to the beach somewhere the beaches I'll show you but the beaches we like here we really like Key Biscayne and I think it's called Crandon Park or something like that um, or Crandon Beach I don't know but that one's nice because there's a big parking lot right there and then there's a ton of palm trees so if you want to be in the shade you can sit under a palm tree so that's nice so we usually do that and it's not usually that busy the only thing is the water's not that nice it's kind of brown it almost looks like a lake but the water's brown and like there's a ton of like seaweed or something like all at the front so it's just it's not the best water but the beach is nice um and then of course there's like Miami Beach, which is always really pretty too. That water's pr prettier for sure. Uh, but I think we might go to Key Biscayne today. Um, but yesterday I got so much, I'm just, I was loading the dishwasher, I think I'm done though. Yesterday I got so much done with my, planning my retreat. I'm so excited about it. But I did wanna share that, so this retreat is like a huge goal of mine, a huge um, like coming together of so many things. Um, for my business and just like my growth and everything. Oh, there's a fourth one. And everything, like it's a really big like marker for me. It's a really big marker for my coaching business and just, um, yeah, all the work that I've done and, and the ways that I can help people um, continue to do like their own inner work and mindset work. Um, but so today, if I have some time, I wanted to work on kind of the more like embodiment of um, of who I want to be at that retreat. I wanted to work on it for myself first. So I do a ton of like mindset work and um, embodiment work and stuff like that all the time. Like every week I do 
work like that. I just love it and it's like a hobby of mine, like a passion. Um, and that's why I'm a mindset coach because I love to do that work myself and love to guide people through it. And like if people wanna make transformation or if they wanna change their life or if they wanna change um, their job or their career or 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 anything or, or just accept themselves more or love themselves more. Like we get to the root of so many problems, me, me and my clients. Um, and we're able to like release so much and work through so much so i don't even know where i was going with that but so with the retreat i can just feel that like i know who i am right now is like totally capable of hosting this retreat and being like just the most badass coach and and having it be a space where everyone loves every minute of it and I can't wait and I feel like I have so many natural gifts and qualities to be able to host this amazing retreat where everyone will leave feeling so refreshed and and feel so supported with the community and everything like that but I also feel like the version of me who is at the retreat is grown in ways that I want to grow before the retreat so the retreat's in October so I have like three months or ish um, until it and yeah, so I just kind of want to make a plan for myself and kind of um, Yeah, yeah make a plan for how I want to embody who she is just three months away Because I feel like there are parts of her that I really admire that I've seen in like some mirror work and things But I don't fully embody yet things like I'm, I'm a confident person always have been and it's grown so much the past couple years, but she has a different confidence than me. She has more of a Like she's still a gentle confident, but she the, the version of me in three months who is at this retreat I can tell she just is a little more non-apologetic and More herself just more herself and this is the thing about all the work that I do Anytime I want to change or anytime a client wants to change or or grow in some way or start to do something new The thing is it can feel like oh my gosh, like I've never been that person. I've never been somebody who wakes up at 5 a.m I've never been somebody who Goes and does a public speaking somewhere. I've never been somebody who has a YouTube channel or whatever it is and um the thing is that's okay that you've never experienced that but it's not like you're trying to be somebody else it's that you're actually feeling this call to embody your true self so you're not changing you're not you know um becoming somebody else you're becoming more of who you are supposed to be you're becoming more you um and it's just the true you and the true you could look a lot different than who you are right now and how you're experiencing life right now but yeah it's, it's beautiful so i want to start making a plan for myself so this is the thing i want to hold myself accountable here on youtube so i feel like this version of me is even more confident in a way where she is able to really hold her own and not feel um intimidated or good enough really i want to feel totally good enough in my abilities as a coach and my abilities as a host and as a leader um, of my team and everything i want to feel good enough in an abundance of ways um for that retreat and for just my business in general, but I'm really focusing specifically on the retreat right now. So that means a lot of confidence, that means a lot of self-trust, and that means really knowing my shit and knowing my story and knowing my intention and knowing my message um, and knowing when I don't know things and being okay with that. So I've talked about this before, I'm really getting deep here, but I've talked about this before on YouTube and on other, other social media channels, but one of the really common beliefs that i have struggled with is the belief that i'm dumb I've, no i have felt like that a lot um when i was younger and leading up until recently um that always was a belief that i had that i'm just a little dumb <laughs> and and i worked through it a ton and i don't believe that anymore um i know i'm so smart and it really blows my mind how like capable i am of learning and like how yeah, how not dumb I am. <laughs> um, and like for me to even be able to address it online when like I've even gotten, I've gotten so many comments saying like talking about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so for me to even be able to address that here and own it um, and then feel confident enough in myself that it doesn't matter if somebody thinks I'm dumb, like I know that I'm not. And also I, I know that I'm gonna do whatever it takes um, 
to help people or to learn or to grow and embody all these things despite feeling dumb or despite someone else thinking that I'm dumb. It doesn't matter. Um, so I've grown, I've grown so much in that way, but I can even feel bits of it coming through now with this retreat coming up when I know that, um, you know, at the retreat, it's different than virtually coaching people, like virtually coaching and, and showing up online, like you're not here. Um, and like, I could look at my screen if I needed to, like I have like my laptop right here. Like if I'm on a coaching call, I have notes and stuff, you know what I mean? Like I help support myself in that way. Um, so coaching in person is different. Um, I know I'm a natural, but <laughs> but it's just different. It's different showing up in person. And then also, um, being that the retreat is in person, I want to, I know I already do. I know I already have this energy in me, but I want to embody such a bright and energetic energy and such a loving and nurturing um, energy where everyone feels very comfortable with me and feels very loved and supported and non-judgmental and like they really feel like they're supposed to be here and they're wanted at that retreat. Um, so I want to work on embodying that with myself. So first I need to embody feeling like loved and supported and like I want to be here. Um, like I want myself here. Like I can't, I can't go into the retreat thinking I'm not good enough and then hold space for other people to tell them they're good enough if I don't believe myself, right? So that's the work that I want to plan out today. So how I'm gonna plan that out is get a really super specific um, vision of me at this retreat, which I've already gotten, but I wanna really go deep with her. I just do this through guided visualization on YouTube or a superhuman app meditation, prayer, whatever it looks like for you. I like to do visualization and I just guide myself through it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is visualize myself at the retreat being the person that she really wants to be, totally embodying it, feeling what she feels, seeing what she sees, hearing what she hears, um, saying the things that she's saying, like everything, just fully embodying this version of me at the retreat. Anything that comes up, what is she believing about herself? What are her th thoughts about herself and the retreat itself and the people there? Um, what are her top values at the retreat? Like really going deep with her and then looking at where I am right now, looking at my current space. Um, what are my beliefs right now? What are my thoughts right now? What are my values right now? What am I seeing, hearing, and feeling right now um, in my body? And, and what are my values? And what do I believe are my skills? Stuff like that. So I really get clear on her there and I really get clear on me now. And then we have this space, right? We have this space where it's like, okay, she's, I'm here and she's there. So how, what is this space? This space is where we do that work. So this work is going to look like embodying the confidence or embodying, I'm talking real quick or embodying the morning routine that she does or embodying the discipline that she has or embodying the like abilities to reach out to people and get people to come, like the, the abilities to sell the retreat, all that type of stuff. So there's gonna be a lot of embodiment work that I wanna do in this space or it could look like action. It could look like maybe a new workout routine or maybe a new way to take care of myself. That's like going on a walk every day to process all this new embodiment. Um, I'm also gonna look at um, my intake, so the things I'm taking in, whether it be like who I follow on social media, how often I'm looking at it, how often I'm looking at screens, really looking at my intake and making sure that the intake I have from now until that retreat aligns with the intake that that version of me has. Um, and letting it be okay that it's a journey, it's a process, I'm not gonna just embody her tomorrow, but I'll have this plan set up for me where I know exactly what I need to do, um, how to do it, and I can trust myself that I will get there and no matter what, I'm gonna love that version of me no matter what. No matter if she is exactly what I was thinking or if she is a little bit different, probably even a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so that's what I wanna work on today is that plan of that space. Um, so yeah, so that's how I'm gonna do it. Obviously I don't, want it, don't know what it is yet I haven't done it yet, but I'll share that with you guys later. Um, but it's really simple. And yeah, if you wanna do something like that with me, you can always book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. If you go to my website, it's just called one-on-one -on -one transformation transformation session and it's like a 60 to 90 minute call we can go deep with you and do all this transformation work together um and get clear for you even if you don't know what you want but you know you want something different even if you don't even have clarity at all yet that's perfect i would love to chat with you and go through all these things together um anyways i'm gonna fill up my water and make some breakfast and then hopefully we're gonna go to the beach Okay, we've spent like all morning cleaning up and we finally, we had some branches and some bases there that we didn't know what to do with. So we finally put those away, kind of redecorated this area. And then I have to bring this stuff to the car. We store stuff in our car now. <laughs> and then in our room, we hung up our TV.
finally our tv has just been sitting on our dresser for two months so it feels good to finally have it up and have like our dresser space back but it's all really come together i'm pretty sure that's the last thing we had to do like construction <laughs> type wise and i showed you guys our closet is still organized so that feels so much better like everything is put away and where i hid everything it's under the bed you can't really see but we have some storage under there so i put a lot under our bed um but now what we're doing is looking for artwork so i kind of want some artwork right here we don't know what yet but i feel like our room could definitely use some color it's very neutral and calm and like great for sleeping but it's boring like i feel like it could use something right there some color or something i don't know and then in here we want artwork right here so we're looking for that right now yeah like even like i feel Just to make it brighter in here, it's kind of dark. Uh, yeah, it's easy. Okay, so for protein powder, I have the Dose and & Co. And then I'm going to put flax seeds and chia seeds. I just have banana and ice in there. I have some peanut butter ingredients is only organic roasted peanuts and um, some water so the next day it's 4th of July and we did end up going to the beach today and I didn't vlog it we were only there for like an hour and we were literally just laying down relaxing the whole time but it was nice but um before dinner and before fireworks and stuff tonight, I just went to Whole Foods and got our grocery haul for the week. So I thought I'd show you. This is our menu for the week. I printed this off a couple weeks ago and I just kind of use it every week. Um, but here is like our menu we're going to follow this week. And then I have snack ideas or dessert ideas, lunch and dinner ideas, and then breakfast ideas. So that's really helpful to have. So I just went off of that. And then here is our groceries we get beautiful sunlight coming in right bunch of watermelon pico and onion can you see it that well hopefully it's okay with the sun some bananas um squash zucchini and then a cucumber two lemons just to have with water some carrots to make in the air fryer tonight um we're gonna have bratwurst and then i also got ground beef and then over here i also got chicken and then two things of ground turkey to use for all those meals um, bananas, avocados for avocado toast and to put on bowls, beans for like a taco bowl, tomatoes to put on all those bowls, and then the base of all the bowls that were on that menu, I got a bunch of greens. So I got shaved brussels, um, green beans, a sweet kale, salad kit, spinach, and we have some more greens in the fridge, but I like to just use a ton of greens as the base for our dinners. I got some frozen rice. This is really good rice because it's frozen but it's already cooked so all you have to do is just literally warm it up in a pan or in the microwave and it's so quick like two minutes and then some of the recipes are tacos or if i want like a breakfast taco quesadilla literally anything so i got two of these siete tortillas the almond flour and the cassava flour and then i just got this taco seasoning from whole foods um some siete chips some hummus and tzatziki to have with the bowls and then just some cream cheese for breakfast I got pickles, but these are whole pickles. I didn't realize I like to just get like the little spears, but I'll just have to cut them myself. And then some cereal for snacks. And then frozen things. I have frozen strawberries and frozen blueberries for smoothies and then butternut squash for the bowls. And I think that that's everything. Oh, I love these mush overnight oats. These are so good. Um, this is my favorite flavor. If you like overnight oats or oats in general, you'll like these, but if you don't, then you'll hate these, but they're really good. Um, I got almond milk and then just some of these Olipop drinks. I got the root beer flavor, the strawberry, ooh, the strawberry vanilla flavor I have never tried, and then the orange cream one. So 
that's our grocery haul. And then for dinner tonight, we're just gonna make bratwurst or hot dogs and some french fries and just celebrate uh, the night. Maybe go watch fireworks in a little bit. But yeah, so I think that kind of wraps up spend the weekend with me. I had a really great weekend. Hope you guys did too. And I'll link all the information for the retreat down below. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.